close your eyes and focus on your breath. Notice where you feel the breathing coming in, going out. And let your attention settle right there and stay. Other thoughts may come to the mind, other sounds may come from outside, but you don't have to pay them any attention. You don't block them out, but you don't go running after them. You run after the way the breath feels right here. Because the mind needs a place to settle down. If it's going to see anything clearly in life, it has to be still. It's like running past a tree. If you run past a tree and then someone asks you what kind of tree was it, were there birds and squirrels and other animals in the tree, it's hard to say because it's just a blur. But if you're standing still and watch it, you can see, oh, there are birds of this kind and that kind, squirrels doing this, doing that. You can see the tree clearly because you're still. It's when you see things clearly, that's when you have knowledge of your own. We have so much information. That's not really knowledge. We pick it up from all the different media. We pick it up from our parents, we pick it up from our friends. We don't know if the people who are telling us this information really know what they're talking about. And in many cases, we don't even know the people, so we don't know what their purpose is, what their intentions are. So if you're going to see anything clearly, you've got to look for yourself. And as the Buddha said, all our happiness and all our misery starts with the mind. So you want to look right here. Watch your own mind very carefully. Because if you can take care of this issue, the mind that runs around and doesn't know what it's doing, then you've solved a lot of problems. In fact, you can solve a lot more problems than you might think. Because we're not just on the receiving end of things from outside. We're sending out our intentions into the world through what we do and say and think. And the results of those intentions come back at us. So when something is coming at us from the world, you have to remind yourself, okay, I sent this out sometime a while back. It's like those packages they sent back in the post office from the post office. You sent them out and it comes back at you. So there are things you don't like. Well, where did it come from? It came from inside. So take care of inside, and you take care of an awful lot of things. And you can take care of it only when you see clearly what's happening. We talked last night about how right effort makes life more easy. That's because you start with what's going on in your mind. Unskillful qualities arise in the mind. You try to get rid of them before they come out in your words and deeds, or in your extended thoughts. Skillful qualities arise and you try to nurture them, help them grow. And if you can take care of things right at the very beginning like this, life is a lot easier. So always keep in mind that where you really want to pay attention is right inside. And you do that by getting the mind really still with the breath, because the breath is a guarantee that you're with the present moment. You can't watch a past moment. Past breath, you can't watch a future breath. But you can watch the breath right now. And as long as you're with the breath, you know you're right here. And this is where you can see things clearly as they arise. That way you start learning how to depend on yourself. We take refuge in the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sankha, but the Buddha also recommended, as he said in Pali, ati yatana, atta yatana, to. The self is its own mainstay. Because ultimately it all comes down to what you observe what you can learn, and then how you can take that knowledge and use it to improve your thoughts and your words and your deeds. Other people can offer help, but you're the one who has to do the real work. So do it in such a way that you minimize the strain. In other words, give the mind a comfortable place to stay right here and try to deal with your thoughts as they come. And don't wait until they've taken root and turned into really solid things before you realize, okay, this is an unskillful thought, I shouldn't have allowed it in. Be on top of things. Be on top of things right here, and you're at the right place. <laughs>